Okay, in this video, we're going to show you how to use uh, Llama 2 7 billion parameters on a chatbot, uh, all combined in one application. Now, this is going to be running on a container, and it's going to be, if you have Bison Workstation, it will be, the process will be pretty simple. So you have to copy two commands, and it's going to launch uh, a web UI that's connected to the to the model. And right now, we're using the 7 billion, it's, but you can install, you can download the 13 billion, the 70 billion parameter model, or any other model, and try it out with the same web UI. We just try to simplify the process for you. So here, the well, first thing we're going to do, like always, we're going to open the Bison app that's included with your system. And then you're going to scroll down onto Llama 2 plus chatbot installation web UI. Here, there's two commands that we need to download that we need to run. The first one is going to be to download the model, which is this one here. So these two commands that we're going to launch here, the first one is to download the container. And the second one is to launch the web UI. And then what's going to happen here is we're going to, we're telling we run Docker with GPUs, all uh, GPUs available that we can use. And then we're going to launch the server with a couple of parameters, like for example, the chair parameter, which allows you to share uh, the link with anyone in your local network or outside your network, and they can have access to the model and chat with it. And a couple more parameters like multi-user, so we can have multiple users chatting with the model at the same time. Xformer, which is a new library to speed up the process of inference and a couple more options here. So we're going to uh, use the GPU and all the layers that we can so we can maximize the model output. So once we can do that, we're going to press enter. And what's happening on the background is launching the container, preparing the web UI and give you the link, doing everything for you. I'm going to paste the link. And then we have access to the chat itself and the model is loaded and everything is there. We just have to configure a couple parameters here. Now, the first one, we're going to go to models and we're going to select the model. In this case, we download the Llama uh, 7 billion chat. So we're going to click on that one and we're going to change the loader. In this case, it's Llama CPP. And everything is going to be loaded in uh, the setting. So you don't have to touch any of that. You just have to click load. So it's going to load the model. And it's here on the right side, you're going to see it's loading it. And it's going to say successful. One is done. Like it happened right now. So all the settings we're going to change is parameters. And basically what we're going to do is to maximize the tokens. In this case, this model can output 4,096 uh, tokens. And temperature, it's what happened. This is how creative the model is going to be. The higher the temperature, more creative, but it can make more mistakes. Or if you go down, it's going to be more straightforward to the answer. That's why, it's, uh, that's why I like to start always with zero, and then we can increase depending on the task that you're doing. If it's a creative task, you can increase it. But if it's something more like coding, for example, you want to have a bit lower uh, temperature. So we don't have to click save or anything. We're just going to uh, move those two parameters, and then we can start chatting with the bot. So we're going to go to text generation, and here we can say, for example, write a Python function to calculate the distance between Earth and Mars, for example. I'm going to click enter. And what I like to do is I'd like to have another terminal open for the GPU so we can see how the GPU is being used. So it's using like 75% of the GPU, using only 7 gigabyte, and this is a 49, a 48 gigabyte uh, card. So it's pretty good. And you see how fast it is. It's that fast because we were running on a GPU. If you're running on a CPU, this is possible, but it will be a little bit slower. Okay, so it gave me the, the entire code. Sure, here's an example. So you can, from that moment, you can copy paste this command and see if it works in your terminal. And then he explained to you what he was you doing and using. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, uh, and this can do anything that the open AI models can do. I think this is comparable to GPT-3, no GPT-4, of course, but still it's going to be running on your local hardware and you can share with anybody else and they can use it. Another thing is that uh, in, the, in the next videos, we're going to be showing how to fine tune these models. They are open source, so we can control our own data, so we can feed with our own data. And then the model is going to be more accurate for uh, our specific application, depending on the, on the company that you have. All right, so keep tuned for those videos. If you want to close the model, if you finish and you can want to stop uh, the web UI, for example, you're just going to go to the same terminal that you had before which is this one here, press Ctrl C. And after that, it's going to close the container. Nothing is running. If you click refresh, there is no access to the web UI anymore. All right. I hope you enjoyed this one and I see you on the next one.